from JBS Studios in Greater New York. This is the JBS News Update with Tisha Bader. I'm Tisha Bader with the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 24th, 2021. Honduras became the fourth country to open an embassy in Jerusalem. Visiting Honduran President Juan Orlando Hernandez was joined by Israeli Prime Minister Naftali Bennett and alternate Prime Minister Yair Lapid, among other officials, for the opening ceremony today, ahead of which Hernandez met with Bennett at the Prime Minister's office. Bennett called Hernandez a true friend of Israel. Hernandez said of Honduras's friendship with Israel that it has been a blessing for my country. The United States and Germany announced a new initiative to combat the rise in anti-Semitism and Holocaust denial around the world. The U.S.-Germany Holocaust Dialogue was launched today at the Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe in Berlin by visiting U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and German Foreign Minister Heiko Maas in the presence of several Holocaust survivors who were in attendance as well. Blinken said 76 years after World War II, the U.S. and Germany are launching a high-level dialogue on Holocaust issues to discuss global action to combat anti-Semitism and counter Holocaust distortion. We proudly stand together and condemn all forms of anti-Semitism. Nassau County, New York, has adopted the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's working definition of anti-Semitism, which in addition to hatred of Jews includes the singling out of Israel beyond acceptable criticism. Nassau County Executive Laura Curran signed the executive order saying, in order to combat anti-Semitism effectively, it is important to be clear about what it is and how it may manifest itself. Jewish organizations welcomed the move, including the county cited, the American Jewish Committee's Long Island Regional President Arnie Hertz and Regional Director Eric Post who said that at a time when the Jewish community has seen a rise in not only traditional anti-Semitism, but a new anti-Semitism that seeks to demonize and delegitimize Israel, a clear understanding of what anti-Semitism is, is essential to combating this evil. Former captive IDF soldier Gilad Shalit got married yesterday, 10 years after his release from terror group Hamas. Shalit was abducted and held by Hamas in Gaza from 2006 to 2011 when he was set free in a prisoner exchange deal for Palestinian security prisoners. Shalit married girlfriend Nitzan Shabbat in a small ceremony in central Israel. We wish them mazal tov. Taking a look now at our programming for tonight on JBS for Thursday, June the 24th at 7 o'clock, it's Talmud study. At 8, writer, educator, and trans activist Abby Stein uses her own personal experiences to discuss a Jewish approach to transgender issues. At 9, Mark Golub sits down with trans activist Yiska Smith on L'Chaim. At 10, Education Director of the LGBTQ Initiative Sojourn, Robbie Medwed, speaks from Limud, New York, 2016. And coming up next, it's Israel in Style. And that's the JBS News Update for Thursday, June the 24th, 2021. I'm Tisha Bader. Stay healthy, stay well.